Hello everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Caller, joined by Forbidden. After a interesting win for you guys against Excel, what are your immediate thoughts after that game? Mm. Close. <laughs> Close, <laughs> game. <laughs> Close game, it was pretty messy. Um, yeah, I don't know, it was just fucking weird because I felt like there was like so many times where they could they were trying to end the game and I was like, you know, are they actually gonna end? I was like, not sure. And usually when people say like, okay, they will try to end, then it usually ends. Yeah, you know? it's usually. But, <laughs> but it actually didn't end, you know? And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a bad early game, I guess. And uh, not enough aggression, mm. I think. You did pop off in some of the late game fights as well. You did get caught out in the jungle that one time, but like um, when they were already in your base and uh, Jess Claw TP's in and you just straight up delete him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like they would have ended if you wouldn't have done that. So good job there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. That situation, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know if they're going to end or not. I was trying, like, you know, and then this guy just runs it down. I don't know what would have <laughs> happened. I don't know what would have happened if he didn't do that, yeah. you know? So, I don't know, it was just like, the game was playing with my head a bit, you know. So it was really, started off rough. I never felt it, it was rough individually. Mm -hmm. I just felt like we were playing poorly as a team. And not creating enough opportunities. And individually, we were playing bad. We were dying to most of the gangs. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> can you even like can you even go back to the drawing board like with the coaching stuff and go so what did we learn from this game you know because it feels like it's been there were so many random individual mistakes something like that that you i don't know like how do you systematically fix those things i don't know man just train harder like okay. Play more solo queue. Yeah, play more solo queue and try harder in scrims and learn your matchups, like better your matchup understanding. Mm -hmm. um, call more information, ask more information, play better, you know, just be better. <laughs> be better usually Somehow. works. Yeah. Like, if not, you're just gonna, you know, just gonna, I mean, it's fine. You can chill as well, you know, just depends what you want out of life. <laughs> that's true you know you want something you gotta work hard for it if you don't then you, yeah, you can just chill if you want to but um overall one one week for you guys uh, yesterday's game was was rough and today was shaky so um where should we like rank misfits in terms of performance overall i mean playoffs is still on the table of course you guys are in the middle of the table um but you know, some teams, Splice has been having, uh, got the win again. Shulk is on the downside, Phoenix on the upside. You know, it's, it looks very tough, very tight. You, you really want to know the answer to the question? <laughs> you want to you want to know where we're at right now? I mean, I have a feeling. Well, is that, <laughs> I mean, we're middle of the pack. Yeah. You know, it's very, it's very clear. I don't think it matters at all where we are. I mean, if we were first place, you know, we could we, we would be chilling, you know. Like uh, like G2 is doing, you know. <laughs> but uh, I mean, we're in a position where we have to win the last games. We cannot afford to lose anymore unless the other teams int. So yeah, I don't want to rely on the other teams losing. Mm. We need to really get, we really need to step up individually and uh, be better individually and try to get better synergy with each other and ask more do more just fucking play better like this is our job you know like honestly going into playoffs if you have if you if you know going into playoffs that you're not going to be better than another team that's fine but just knowing that going into playoffs and knowing that there's a, like not a really high chance of winning the whole thing just by seeing how things are playing out and how the team is working and then you look at other teams that are you know if you look at g2 like 
it's gonna be a you know it's gonna be really di like difficult to to win against them you know mm. even if we go all the way you know into uh, like the finals but I mean in the end it's all you know it's 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 a long run uh in the end it's not it's not us against the best team in Europe uh what I'm looking for is going to roles with this squad um and going far at worlds and just you know living that experience again and playing against the other players traveling with my team having fun you know do fun stuff uh, rather than yeah focusing on winning the whole thing because it's looking like G2 is going to take the whole thing and everyone probably thinks it and know and knows it's going to happen because they're clearly way better than everyone else um so yeah i mean i just want to think about the long run even though it's difficult because when you when you think about this stuff and you f you might think like yeah we're not going to win playoffs and then but then you're like does it actually really matter that much you know is it like do we really need to beat this team to you know potentially go to worlds no we don't mm. you know we all that is important for, for me right now as a human is that i keep performing well my and i and I wish my teammates, or I will help my teammates do that as well. You know, have a you know a constructive you know environment, positive, and create better relationships, and show that everyone wants to be better and motivate each other, and eventually you know being a team that sticks together in the long run, because those teams usually end up being the best uh, if you have all the players that want the same thing, right? If it does click, of course, that's always yeah. a big, big question. And, and if you have the, the skill cap as a player, you know, because that's, it can click out uh, as humans, but it might not click in the game, you know. <laughs> it's not some magical thing yeah. that just, you know, like if one player is way better than the other and they click outside of the game, but the other guy is pretty boosted, then, you know, like you're still going to lose. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> yeah, Happens. I think even like <laughs> solo queue players can relate to that. You know, when you play, when you're like Diamond and you play with your gold friend. Yeah, exactly. A, it's, it's it's a perfect example. <laughs> happens, happens. But are you happy with how the team has been clicking and also to some extent performing um, up until week seven now? Like, if I would have told you before the split started, this is going to be the result after week seven. Would you be? Would you have been happy with this, or would you have been expecting more? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I didn't, I wouldn't really expect more. Mm -hmm. I just think we are improving way too slow mm -hmm. as a team and individuals. Um, yeah, I mean, I just thought we would keep winning, I guess, after we won like four games, because that's kind of what you you don't really like expect it, but like if things go well, it's weird if things go bad out of a sudden like there must be a reason right yeah. so i know the slump that we're kind of in the slump right now and uh yeah i feel like we're not improving at the rate that we should be and uh we are not playing enough we are not working well enough we are not talking enough in game uh we're not asking enough we're making a lot of errors like you know just playing league of legends and the enemies are also really good and competitive and they're also trying their hardest and you know, in the end, it's just like the player, the team that has the, has the individual players that want to step up their game and spend their hours in solo queue and and do their research on vaults and other regions. And it all matters how you perform on stage, you know, as a team and uh, how well do you play individually and potentially carry your teammates um, with your calls and, you know. You, you don't feel like you, you guys are quite there yet compared to, to other teams? Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I think we're at a decent level. Mm -hmm. However, it's it can be so much better. Like, mm -hmm. just analyzing the game from a outside perspective, the things that we are not doing that we can be doing, would that would make us a better team. There's so many things, you know. It starts, you know, with like laning phase, um, like calling making like like even asking your teammates for help like all those basic things we're not even like 
we're still struggling with, you know, so it's just hard and it's been already seven, seven weeks and it hasn't necessarily gotten much better, you know, it feels like we're kind of the same. We've gotten better like as a team, you know, a bit, but we're not at the point where we're comfort like we're gonna, you know, beat the best team. And that's where we have to be get, you know, that's And that's also the expectation given that all of you have we all know that every player on Misfits has the quality to be, you know, the best in their role or yeah. the potential. Um so I would assume yeah, the expectations are pretty high. Um in that regard, wouldn't it be a, a very um welcoming or a homecoming experience for you to to play uh, in Rotterdam potentially isn't that like something you have in the back of your mind maybe you know that's actually something that I should think more about yeah because those things thinking of, like having those thoughts actually motivated me a lot um, just because I know how fun it is mm. and the joy I get from it like I remember being there last time and then we won and then I was doing my interview and then people were just like you know it's fucking it's amazing you know um, so I will try to keep that in mind thank you going for, going forward the next two weeks because I mean that should that stuff really hits me at least as yeah. a pro player you know like playing in front of those big crowds and showing what you're capable of showing showing yourself and your fans and your family and everyone that you care about why you're doing this you know for like f like f for your life yeah exactly right it's like the, it's like the main thing you focus on so yeah <laughs> new goal <laughs> if any misfit stuff is watching by the way i'll collect my paycheck later <laughs> no, just kidding um but is there anything you would like to say to the misfits fans out there i mean Yeah, I mean, thank you for always, like, supporting and always sending, like, positive messages. Like, the Misfits fans, they always are positive and they're always constructive, you know, and I never see, like, a bad Misfits, like, fan message, yeah. you know, so. <sighs> yeah, I mean, all I can say is, I will try my hardest to improve myself and my team and uh, give it back to the community, you know, and the people who want to watch us. And I hope that we will create even more of a fan base going forward because that helps everyone, right? Does indeed. <laughs> a hashtag for the people that watched until the end, your personal hashtag? Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag free loose. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag free loose for all the people that watched until the end. Make sure to follow Forbidden on Twitter and. Uh, no, I don't have to, it's fine. I'll use it anyway. Okay. <laughs> how, how about Instagram? I don't use it either. Uh, I, don't, I really don't care about the following. Like. <laughs> okay. But if you want to see my stuff, of course, you can follow. Sure. I mean, you don't even have to follow. You can just, you know, search me up every time you want to look at my stuff, you know. Sure. <laughs> if that's what you're into make sure to do that uh, I hope you guys have a good day uh, and I'll see you guys next time thanks for moving for the interview Danke. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys next time bye bye we'd especially like to thank Christoph Buinovic Etienne Thomas Göttel Dominic Bolze Lazy Raven Adam Novoswiat Erich Althaus and La Maviota for your very special support and of course also we'd like to thank all the people whose names you see scrolling past you right now And of course, also all the people that like, comment, subscribe, and support our work. Without you, our work wouldn't be possible. Thank you very much.